So I think I managed to score an awesome deal on another QPOS kit. And this is from a series I absolutely do love. And it's just actually finished another season, waiting for the movie trilogy. Does that give you any ideas? Well, straight away here we go, it is Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Hello all, my name's Daniel and welcome to Twister Geek. And this was an absolute steal. I was in B&M stores, I saw it on the shelf and they're showing that anime figures were selling for about £14, so about $18, $19, somewhere kind of along that kind of line. And this one did not have a price onto it, so I took it over to the counter, asked them how much it was before I paid for it. They said £7, which is about $10-ish. I couldn't say no. That is an absolute steal. And this is version A as well. I would have been happy getting version B for that price as well, to be fair. Let's take a closer look at Tanjiro and you can let me know if I got myself an awesome deal or not. So take a quick look at the box itself. Of course, you see the key features straight away to me, which has always been the eyes. Eyes on Q Posket, absolutely amazing. Not so much on the petites, but definitely on the normal size ones. There you go, side view of Tanjiro. Nice little bit of effect there we sword out. So because it's got the sword, it's probably going to be in an extra part. The sword is normally going to be separate. And as you can see, you've got the A and B, the B version being the sepia kind of color colorway, which they also did a lot of um, the Band Presto kind of normal prize figures. They did do that sepia version stuff. And I've got a couple of Tanjo, which came in mystery boxes, which are sepia versions. Nice bit on the top there, just showing them. And of course, all the warning labels and everything on the bottom there. But it is a very nice pose. I do love the way they do these boxes because they really do take up a lot of the boxes showing the different angles of the figure. Where a lot of other ones will show like a big pose version, but they won't show the nice little close-ups and angles like this one does. And then a lot of them, other price figures you can see, will have like a white background, which is nice, but I just I really like these boxes. All the extra official Band Presto stuff and all the links and codes on there. Good way to tell stuff are real as well when they've got all these codes on there. Of course, these are always nicely boxed. And yes, there we go. Base, sword in this little bit of cardboard body. And this is the first time I've seen this, but they've got Tanjiro's head in bubble wrap. Maybe that's because of the spikiness on his hair so it doesn't puncture through. Maybe they thought that's a good way to start doing stuff. Uh, I think it might have been Protecti's earrings a little bit for moving around too much. But I do like that extra bit of support so, so stuff don't break. There's the body, the base, and of course here's Black Sword. So I'll just quickly put this together. And there we have Tanjiro from Demon Slayer. Of course, main feature again, them glorious eyes. Nicely detailed, nice little gloss to it which just makes them really shine and stand out. Loving the pose, loving the waviness of his kind of like cape and that there, his top. It is just very nice done there. His earrings, since they've got like a little bit of movement as well, it's really cool because you can turn his head as well to give that extra little kind of change position for your shelf and things you want to move around. Detail wise, again, same as most of Q Posit, sometimes you get little marks and scuff marks that happen. This happens with kind of any kind of these kind of figures when they get knocked about a little bit or in production, you will get some kind of little scuffs on it. Whereas Tanjiro here, I cannot see any marks or scuffs. Right down to that, he's got the extra different colour on his shoes there, or the sandals. Got his scabbard, even directly underneath here. The pattern still continues on nicely. Here is a little glossier at the back, and then they kind of these red tinges at the front, with of course his nice scar on there. He is very prominent, very nice. I love the pose on this, and I think it's going to go really well on the shelf. Let me know what you think of Tanjiro down in the comments below. Do you prefer this version, or do you like the sepia versions that come out quite often with these kind of prize figures? And when you're down there, go on, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos of QPOS skits, general chit chat, anime, and well, just general weeb stuff I guess. <laughs> My name's been Daniel, this has been Twisted Geek, hope you have an awesome week. Cheers.